Okay. And uh, people on YouTube are now watching this a day later. But we had what? I actually don't know because I didn't pause the recording. Whoops. It was like five, ten minutes. I just went downstairs and got some snacks. <coughs> All right, final part of Fuga. We're, we're at the end. This is it. The last chapter. Cayenne avait atteint l'île flottante où se situait autrefois Parésia, l'ancienne capitale de Gasco. Sur cette île reposait désormais plus que la carcasse du Van Argande, terrassée un an auparavant par le Taranis, à l'issue d'une féroce bataille. <laughs> oh, how you've changed, Parésia. Not a soul stirs in the lifeless necropolis you've become. You and the guard did. Hey, you gave them to me. They're good. I appreciate it. And the one responsible for your metamorphosis, the Vanergand. The time has come for your place in this tale of vengeance. <sighs> Rise once more, almighty god of chaos and annihilation. <coughs> Ruins of the Vanergand's maw. What a marvelous <laughs> sight. I finally arrived, ho oh, Vanergand. With the power of the Belenos, I will revive you to serve as my personal instrument of revenge. Yeah. Come, Belenos, it's time to show me your true power. <sighs> Phoenix sequence activated. Limiter deactivated. Initiating Link. <sighs> you have to do something, Jill. <sighs> he can't hear me. What should I do? Rise and sow chaos on the world once more, O oh Vanergand. Near Altar 4, Crusade Facility. Pendant ce temps, les enfants avaient terminé la vérification du Taranis et s'apprêtaient à partir à la poursuite du Belenos. Mm. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Mm. Considering the serious damage the Belenos caused, it makes sense that not everything could be fixed by the auto repair function alone. Mm. I'm glad we're finished with the repairs, but the nearby port was wrecked by Cayenne. No airship will fly out of there anytime soon. Just go back. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Convenient plot device. Huh? That's probably Lieutenant Muscat. Open up the line. Malt, thank goodness I got through. <sighs> Lieutenant Muscat, there's something we need to tell you. <laughs> Canal! Glad to see you're alright, Vanilla. Did something happen? <sighs> Quite a few things. We need to talk about what just happened to all of us. And about Father. Vanilla lui rapporta les derniers événements. Il lui révéla l'identité de l'homme qui avait pris la vie de leurs parents. Ain't life a bitch. <gasps> that can't be. You're telling me Mr. Cayenne killed my father, and has been impersonating him this whole time? <coughs> One more thing. Cayenne's trying to resurrect the Vanergan to destroy Gasco and Berman. <coughs> Unbelievable. To think I was calling the wicked cretin responsible for my father's death father all these months. <coughs> yeah, that's how it be on this bitch of an earth. How could he have fooled me so easily? I think I'm going to be sick. That damnable traitor! <coughs> Uh, Lieutenant Muscat. My apologies. Thank you for informing me of all this. I'll prepare to send all available forces after Cayenne immediately. It pains me to ask, but can I count on all of you once more to help us with this operation? Mm. You don't even have to ask. We'll send an airship to pick you up right away. Meet us at the following rendezvous coordinates. Be careful, everyone. Lieutenant Muscat coupa la transmission. Après leur avoir communiqué She's fucking pissed. Yeah, we're all fucking pissed. Mm. It's been a while since Cayenne headed off towards the Vanergan. Let's hurry to the rendezvous point. Oh god, I have to- Allez, These va. fights are all rough! He's depressed and he wants to- and he needs to recover. I mean, at this point, I don't need to do the-, the stuff at all here. Anyone want to sleep? Girls only pajama party. Well, that's not happening. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm gonna eat some hot cheese promen teeter. Cook in the mess room, cook in the mess room. I'm hungry. No, Sheena wants to cook in the mess room. Hachi's Pementier. Critical rate by 30%, link gauge attacks filled 40% faster. Yeah, sure. Upgrade the tank's reactor. Jump on the cube. Uncle Mo, let's move that there. Wait, wait. Increased damage, nice. Ooh, an energy cell. That's a good item to pick up. Just a random refill item in the middle of the uh, area. Low, pretty low, pretty low. If we get a piece of titanium, I could upgrade the, the armor at this point. That's also what I need to upgrade the workshop, but I probably shouldn't bother with the workshop. Fario. No, I don't want to... Damn it. Do it, Daddy. Uncle Dumont, you talk here. Wait. <laughs> One more. Uncle Demo? Do it today! Jum on the cube! Wait! Damn it! Of course I don't get the titanium the one time I need it. More like E tank, yeah. I mean that's what it is an energy thing. Boron is once again like at the lower end of our levels here for some reason. <laughs> Which one of us is older? Bomb stolen, you're the same age. Uh oh. No. D. Oh, they just told me what the correct answer was, so now I get to just... Next intermission, I could just use that. Bomb is older. Alright, we'll take another pass at this. Nope. Couldn't get the titanium. That damn Cayenne is gonna pay. Well, wasn't the best, but I mean, at this point, we're not gonna be getting a ton of uh, supports and stuff, so.
Laissez-moi faire une ouverture Don't worry, I muted myself. You didn't hear me crunching. <laughs> Dying Squirtle. Yeah, I hear that. All yellows fall in. Delta. T this is literally tri attack. I just realized because it's Delta Storm. It's tri attack. May inflict burn, shock, or smoke. I have full health, so I don't need to take the normal route, the safe route. The, the route, the safe routes here are just items.
Ouais. It's interesting how the hard battles in this game aren't that much harder. <laughs> in the previous game, I think the hard battles all had different enemies in it. Why did I not switch anyone else? That was stupid. Monster. Little monster fella. Mmm, crossbow. I'm gonna just grab four pretzels in a row. L'île où se dressait autrefois Parésia avait été entièrement anéantie par le Van Argand, désormais ressuscité. <laughs> it's a Charizard. Yeah, kinda. Farewell, Parisia. The current capital will resemble you before long. Onward to Pharaoh, our stepping stone on the path to Berman. Le Van Argan amplifiait les facultés régénératrices du Belenos, faisant proliférer à une vitesse inquiétante les machines sans âme. Great. Hmm. Fly, servants of chaos. 
shall I crack open a cold one? Strike terror into the hearts of the pitiful people of Gasco. The Getter Dragon. You know, I've never watched a Getter Robo series. My only exposure to Getter Robo is uh, Super Robot Wars. <laughs> Fowl is currently under attack by unidentified enemy units. The siege is likely spreading all over Gasco. They may already be on their way to your position. Be careful. Mm. Timing's too suspicious. These enemies must be tied to Cayenne somehow. <laughs> He's sending his goons this far out into the boonies? Uh -huh. Yeah, they were straight up gooning for him. I know a lot of furries would probably goon for Cayenne. But, uh, that's a story for another day. Uh, she said all over Gasco. Doesn't mean Petite Mona and everyone back home could be under attack, too. Mama, mama. I've been all over Gasco. The whole place feels like my home at this point. These jerks are practically pissing on my front lawn. Wow, that's a great line. Uh, you know what? I will take the safe route just because I want more SP. I need, even need SP here. All I'm missing out is one plus. Heard that line before, yeah. Time to take a piss. Oof. I don't need to focus on that yet. Oh, wait, but it has an armor. Listen, more fair. Shoot it down. Okay. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Too many Gardettos. I might have to bring it with me tomorrow night. Not gonna lie, it's it's so good. I was gonna leave it here and let my mom and brother eat it, but I don't know, man. It's really good. Still June, I'm already seeing back to school stuff. Ugh. God. Remember that Staples commercial where, like, they would play up back to school like it was the best thing ever for parents? And I'm just like, wow, how little, how much do you hate your kids that you're, like, that ready to get rid of them for the school year? Can you get me more Gardettos if I want some? It's okay, I can get them. I can, don't worry. I can get Gardettos if I want them. In fact, I'm gonna ask my mom to look in shop right next time she does food. Considering you went this long without seeing trying them, well, I, we didn't know about them. Oh god, two of them. They have armor? No, they don't.
I don't want to do that because it delays all of us. Pull two for one there. I mean, I don't know how to start this because it's a fairly tricky thing to talk about people and back to school stuff. I, I don't know. The thing is, like, taunting kids about back to school is like, man, don't do that. Their lives are already hard enough with how bad the school system is. He can't. In fact, I'm gonna switch him out because I don't want him to waste what's left of that turn ability. List of Attention. Oh, activated meal effects. I didn't know about right. that. Teach. Leave it. Juicy poo. Juicy poo? God damn it. I want Yeah, French is a silly language. Oh, cool. Get that link event now. Laundry is ready to be done. I can feel a strong aura. What? Uh oh. Already? Yo. You sure put yourself work to work back home after the war, eh? Segway. I guess so. I helped out with the farm, the cooking, watching over my brother and sister and stuff. Yeah. I did lots more than I used to. Now that I think about it. Mm. Yeah. Me too. Honestly, started helping mom and pop out. Uh. It's lots more fun when everyone's together, huh? Oh, maybe that's why. Cool. Why what? I guess I realized that eating food I grew and cooked together with everyone is more fun than binging alone. Mm. Yeah, getting pretty insightful now, aren't you? <laughs> is that a compliment I hear? Feels good coming from you. Eh. Well, don't get go. You don't go getting used to it. Link attack powered up. Uh, I have enough to upgrade this, but then I'm not going to be able to upgrade the armor. And at this point, I'm not getting level 15, so there's no point in finishing that upgrade. So let's upgrade the uh, armor here. I have enough heavy barrels to do both of these. Oh, now I definitely have enough heavy barrels to do both of them. Alright. Grenade launcher is almost as powerful as the cannon because it's so much higher leveled. But the machine gun's still kind of faltering down there. If we got some heavy barrels, we'd be able to upgrade it. Maybe he wants to cook in the mess room. 
And someone wants to eat coleslaw and carrot salad. Increases skill cost by negative one. Yeah, sure. Boron wants to do laundry. Who can I rank him up with again? Anyone level four? No. Get him up with Wappa, though. They're level four now. Uh, I can make coleslaw for Brits. We can have Sheena talk to someone. Have her talk to Chick because she's about to level up with her. Lieutenant Muscat is just the coolest. Right, I got half my points left. Oh, Kyle's still level 32. How'd that happen? There we go. Socks is still thirty two. Oh, and Chicken Hacker thirty two as well. <laughs> Alright, so that leaves us with 10 points. Can't upgrade the grenade launcher anymore. Uh, definitely not gonna be able to get enough stuff for the cannon. Can't get enough titanium. I'm not enough standard batteries. Heavy bar- no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anything. Alright. Increase the speed by negative three. Yeah, I'm not sure the speed stat works, but the lower it is, the better. I think it means that you're negative three units on the, uh, on the, on the bar. That's how far back you move. So, the less units back you move, the quicker your next turn comes up. The Exoterranus has been greatly appeased. It can no longer be appeased any further, so you could spend up to six to appease it to the maximum. Alright, well, I got one more affinity point left I could spend here. Socks and Brits. Where's Brits? My trust is in all of you. Together we will succeed. I 
haven't missed any, right? I mean, I don't think there's any real deviations here. Nah. Still don't understand why I don't have Cayenne's Journal 3, though. And how many more stuff... How much more stuff is there down there? Hmm. This should be the rendezvous point. Double Zeppelin, right on time. You're all no you are all nothing if not punctual. Eh. Lieutenant Muscat, how's everything in Faro? Things aren't looking good. We're headed straight for Faro from here, so I'll explain the situation on the way. Theater Rhythm DLC should be loading up. I think in another ten minutes at most. La situation actuelle rapportée par le lieutenant Muscat était des plus alarmantes. À une vitesse sans pareil, d'innombrables machines sans pilote qui semblaient provenir du Van Argand envahissaient tout l'archipel. Jesus, that's terrifying. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Leur nombre était tel que les forces de Gasco déployées allaient vite être submergées. I'm sorry. If the Vandergan is spawning these unmanned <coughs> units, it's most likely controlling them too. So if we can defeat the Vandergan, they'll all effectively be defeated as well. Most likely. Mm. I had a feeling there'd be no way out of this without taking down the Vandergan. <sighs> so he fully intends to take out both Gasco and Berman. He's brought back something that should never have been revived. Thank you, Ghost of Hacks. Mm. Damn it all, what are they going to do about this then? Mm. I understand your frustration, Baum, but we can't expect a bunch of pups from Gasco to defend the country that invaded their home, can we? Mm. Don't worry, Grandpas. Grandpas. Me and everyone are going to fight all the baddies for you. <laughs> Will you now? <laughs> You're quite a formidable little lady. <laughs> Indeed, with such strength on our side, the battle is surely already won. <laughs> I only hope our preparations will be made in time. Skies on the outskirts of Pharaoh. No, it's here already? Au même moment où le dirigeable transportant les enfants atteignait les abords de Pharaoh, le Van Argand arriva. Oops. All tanks within range of that monster. Open fire! It's an Ava, it's an angel, yeah. <coughs> what are these fuckers up to? They're they're trying to stop Vandergan. Too bad Pyramid isn't here, yeah. No! We need the synchronized Ava attack. Oh no, this isn't good. All forces spread out. It's about to fire the same blast of light that split Gasco apart. Comme pour narguer Merlo, un rayon de flamme dévastateur jaillit de la gueule du Vanargand. Par le léger mouvement de sa tête gigantesque, le rayon fendit les cieux, décimant la majeure partie de la flotte de dirigeables. Wow, that is a uh, that is quite a in sentence. <clears throat> How could we be facing the same nightmare once more? Is that traitorous scum truly out there? Cayenne! Mm. How could you take it this far? <laughs> General Merlot, I brought the children to assist us. Please fall back. Mm. Yeah, let the children handle it. I'm sure glad to see you all again, children. But I still have some choice words for that brute Cayenne. Alors que son dirigeable s'approchait du Van Argand, Merlot s'adressa à son vieil ami par les haut-parleurs. Cayenne, it's me, Merlot. 
Why did you take the lives of the president and his wife? Why did you impersonate my friend? La tête de la bête se tourna lentement vers Merlot, et Cayenne répondit en propageant sa voix aux alentours. <laughs> because bumbling imbeciles like Shane and yourself forgave Berman for their atrocities. <clears throat> because of Gasco's weakness, my family was thrown to the wolves. Even the chance to seek vengeance was robbed from me by your armistice. <laughs> my aim is to give them the justice they deserve. If not by their hand, then by my own. Super robot trope if you ever saw one, yeah. You would allow innocent lives to be lost for such a selfish ambition? <sighs> Berman will surely sink its fangs into Gasco again. But take heart, I'll ensure they never get the chance. Before I do, allow me to wake the brainwashed citizens of this country who mistake complacency for peace. Suite à ces paroles, les épines géantes sur le dos du Van Argand bourdonnèrent en vibrant à grande vitesse. His face is very uncanny, yeah, it's very human looking, which I think is the point. C'est alors qu'une onde de choc se propagea depuis les épines, soufflant un à un les dirigeables de Gasco volant autour de la bête. What in the? Un des dirigeables projetés par le choc menaçait de heurter celui du lieutenant Muska, qui transportait le Taranis. Oh shit! Take evasive measures. There's no time. Le dirigeable du lieutenant Muska avait évité une collision frontale, mais son ballon avait été endommagé et il perdait rapidement de l'altitude. Uh, we're making an emergency landing. Brace for impact. Everyone, grab hold of something. Le dirigeable s'écrasa près de Pharaoh, mais l'équipage et les enfants étaient sains et saufs, et les dégâts minimes. Shit, 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 shit. Le Van Argand, sans se soucier des forces de Gasco, atterrit à proximité de la capitale. Damn it all. None of our airships will be able to get close to it if unless we deal with those giant spikes on its back. <laughs> Cayenne's at the head of the beast. How are we supposed to get there? We'll get on its back and find a way to deal with those spikes. Mm. Once we deal with them, can the airship bring us to the Vandergan's head? Huh? Just how do you intend on getting on top of its back? <laughs> Steel claws. It's the freaking yeah. Way. <laughs> Difficult, but not impossible. We have to try. Very well. If that's our only option, our ground troops can provide you cover. This thing is a Golisopod, yeah. Way. Thanks. We'll be counting on you all. So I just have to hit it once and it'll be switching out, right? Point de se mettre en marche. Les deux vieillards prirent timidement la parole. Apologies, but can you find it in your hearts to let us disembark? I think I may have hurt my back in the crash a moment ago. Ay ay ay. All right, Bao. Right. You seemed fine a second ago. Are you going to leave us, Grandpas? Are you actually hurt? La requête était soudaine, mais Malt accepta de les laisser partir, convaincu qu'ils avaient leur raison. It's okay, everyone. All right then, you two. Take care of yourselves. Maybe in your best interest to surrender to the Gasco army. Running away isn't an option. If you try any more bad stuff, we'll make you regret it. If you're about to return to Berman, I hope you both retire from the military and lead peaceful, happy lives. You ragamuffins take care as well. No, never mind. You will, children. This is probably the last time we'll ever see each other. Goodbye, bomb. Stolen. They killed people. Are really just going to leave? There's nothing more we could do for them, or vice versa. Boom. The airship should be ready and waiting by now. It's not as if we have room to take their tank with us. <laughs> not liking this one refill, one refill. Uh oh. Oh. Arrivés à proximité du Van Argand, les enfants furent horrifiés une fois de plus par la taille gigantesque de la créature. Cool. Sure is big. 
planned it before, didn't we? Uh... I hate to get stepped on by this thing. I'm gonna give our engine some extra oomph. Roger, let's do this! So essentially run away unless... Yes, it's doing the thing! They're playing the first game's theme. Oh, that's so good. Vanergan foot. Giant foot of the Vanergan with extremely high armor rank. It's hard to hit when raised, and its strong stomp inflicts fear on all children. Okay. I'm on tour. chance of burn, no chance of stun, no chance of smoke. Chains, no chance of weed. What? Hey, look, I was right. Exactly 215. Ready to play. Lower the foot. Yeah, 215. That's usually when the DLC goes live. armor now. Jamon the cube. Jamon. 
Nice. A fairly easy one. Nano metal chunk. That's a new item. Let's fall back and quick. Big vibrations coming our way. I wonder how bad it's gonna be. Be careful, everyone. Les pattes avant du Vanargan la chair et le corps massif de la créature s'écrasa lourdement au sol dans un fracas assourdissant. Sure, this is some jest. Could it be the Vanargan was not fully revived in all its glory? Even if that's the case, this damage is not but a trifle while I am armed with the restorative power of the Belenos. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Let's cl let the climb commence. <laughs> Here goes nothing. They done, they done, they got done, done it. Old Parisia. This is just like the beginning of the final chapter from the last game. <sighs> it looks like we managed to climb on top of it. Au pied des enfants arrivés au sommet de la créature, s'étendaient les ruines de l'ancienne capitale, Parisia. Yeah, I feel like a goat. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I feel like a ghost could pop out any second. Mm. Wonder how the engine's holding up. That climb definitely pushed it to its limits. What uh. I am! <laughs> Parisia was such a beautiful place. Can't believe this is what it's been reduced to. don't take care of those spikes, the Gasco army won't be able to attack the Vandergan from the air. Where? Let's take them out before Vandergan starts moving again. Yeah, the uh, Parisia was built on top of the Vandergan's ruins, and in the first game it woke up and destroyed the whole city. Allez, on y va. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I just wanted to get- I just wanted to plow through this part. <laughs> and get our bearings back afterwards. God damn, my phone is blowing up! I must have forgot to turn off n notifications on that Discord server I joined. I remember to do that after the stream's over. Excellent strat 
Injury. 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 Relieve injury on all allies. Increases effect. How? Hey, I got sass. I'm sassy. Well, we definitely don't need the safe route because I have almost all my SP. So let's take the top route. Get some extra items. Slink attack do increases critical rate. Why not? Excellent strategy, yes. Cosmic play. Uh, all right. Is it two yellows? It is two yellows. Okay. You out. Twin twin in. Now I'm going to try to attack the dome until it opens. Why did Van Vanilla get knocked back so far? Take the sound. Here. There we go. Wait. Less and more fair. Tuna bar. Go. Bertha. Oh, that's big Bertha. I mean, I had special uh, defense on that one. Less and more fair. Wapa, need you in here for a moment. Jumon the cube. Attention. Less and more fair. I'm like it. Wait. Where are you? I'm on tour. Best hero mode because there's two attacks. It's so good. Safe route gets us health and SP. This just gets us more items. We'll take the safe route. Excellent. We're almost at the end. These spikes are beyond huge. Can we really destroy them? Spikes. 
spikes, blah, blah, blah. Just tell us what to do. Alright, sounds good. Giant spikes on the Vanguard's back releases a shock that delays all children, also calls reinforcements one after another, so you need to handle each differently. What? Target's power supply. Where? Where are you? I'm on tour. Instinct malt. Ooh, ooh. Be safe. Calling reinforcements. I'm on tour. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. I was going to have to fight multiples of them. Suppression des défenses aériennes du Manacor confirmée. Nice. Ah, 
Nice. Where? All right, now the airships can get close again. We should report this to Lieutenant Muscat right away. I can confirm that the spikes are inactive. You did it, Malt. We're en route to pick you all up right now. Where? Okay, we'll head for a spot where the airship can land safely. Belenos, head of the Vanergan. Como? What? The anti-aircraft shockwave systems have gone down? Is this the work of those blasted children? I suppose I made a mistake allowing them to live. We'll be making that mistake again. The final save point. We're here. I think the airship should be able to land around here. It's a little too quiet though. Could Cayenne be plotting something? Hax, do you remember when you fused with the Vanergand? I'm guessing you don't know what's going on with Jill or Hana either. Oui. Right, that makes sense. Mm. Can't give up hope, not ever. Mm. No point in overthinking it. Let's just get ready to roll out. Oui? We made it this far. There's no stopping us now. Oui. Right, we'll do everything in our power to make sure we all go home together. planning anything. Final preparations, yeah. Well... First thing I'm gonna do is use 6 AP to do this. It's not sure our prank to the cannon works, but oh well. <laughs> We're just appeasing the soul of the Tyrannus. Can't upgrade anything. Might be able to get titanium. Well, titanium's like the hardest thing to get. Nah, we're probably not gonna be able to get anything here. It would probably just best off cooking. Hungry, hungry. Vegetable stew. Cook in the mess room. Oh, there we go. Savarfe! Vegetable stew. Skill down by 2 SP. Increases speed by negative 5. Let him cook. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Black ground lasts longer. Good. Talk to someone. We'll have Hack and uh, Vanilla talk to each other. Listen, my friend. Sorry. We're even cooler heroes than in the comics, huh? Fruit and clucking. We'll do the, I guess we'll do that since it'll make people happy. Making getting people in a better mood is good. Scrap fishing. We can uh, have Malt do scrap fishing. We could probably go to a ruin. Well, no, I don't know. Wait. No point in going to ruins at this by now. We won't be able to use anything we get there. Do it today. Wait. I 
to get a titanium from that. I guess we could explore ruins. Saba? Gasco Army sure has deployed a lot of airships in a short amount of time. These are for good for weapons, but we'll do it. Why not? Oniba. One last ruins expedition. Fire crystal. Rock. Is this the one from before? Well, the doors are slightly different. Wait, no, this is the one from before. It's the exact same one, isn't it? Yeah. No, actually, it's not. Never mind. It looks similar. And one bullet. And now I have one bullet. I need two to open that. I need one to open this and get two more. There we go. And I need flame, so I need three bullets for over here. Because I need flame and a normal bullet to shoot that open. So shoot these two. Grab three. A gun with one bullet, yeah. This requires three to get over there, and I can't see what's over there, so that's probably not the right way to go. Three bullets. Yep, now we get two more. Okay, cool. Alright, four bullets. Two more, and we get a stand. Okay, there's a door there that I can't open yet. I need to find the eyeball. There it is. That door open. One bullet. Pull this up. Another bullet. This one's free of monsters. Sex pistols. Excuse me. You, you excuse you. You mean you mean six bullets? The best name for a stand ever. I think that's everything. longer. Nice. Yeah! What a, what a way to finish off the last uh, notebook. Alright. Time to finish this. We've almost arrived at your location, Malt. As soon as we pick you up, we'll be relaunching our aerial assault. Mm. Understood. We're all ready over here. Goodness, you children are forced to be reckoned with. You truly are the crown jewels of Gasco. <laughs> You're too kind, General.
Huh? It's doing what? The Vandergan is rapidly ascending. We can't approach the rendezvous point. Ah, damn you, Cayenne! Les Vanargandes ayant retrouvé ses forces commençaient à se redresser. L'atmosphère se gonfla, tandis que les dirigeables de Gasco perdaient le contrôle, comme secoués par une main invisible. Away with you pesky gnats, and now, to squash the most troublesome pests of all. Les Vanargandes se mit à basculer lourdement son corps gigantesque, pour tenter de faire tomber le char des enfants. Ah, we're gonna fall! What the hell is it trying to knock us off? Oh, this is scary, but kind of fun. Isn't there something we can do? Kind of fun, yeah. No, oh, what should we do? It's time for a trust fall. Just level yourselves out first, and we'll catch you. Huh? That voice sounds familiar. Hurry now, level the tank and fall onto us. You can man can you manage that axe? What? You really going to fuck? Il n'avait aucune idée de ce à quoi s'attelaient les deux billards, mais une sensation de lévitation s'empara soudainement de leur corps. Uh oh. the ground. <laughs> Looks like we made it just in time. Huh? Wait, are we? You're sitting atop an airship we prepared. It was custom built to carry your tank. Probably best not to ask us why we did that. What you blathering? My, my, so you were listening in on our every conversation. What a monstrous invasion of privacy. <laughs> LOL, get wrecked. <laughs> Thanks, Hax. Called it. <sighs> you both really saved our hides. Figured you'd be halfway back to Berman by now. We're very much on our way home, but thought a little detour wouldn't hurt. As though we could just leave that thing be. It's a threat to all of Berman. Malt, are you all okay? What in the world is that ship you're on? Mm. We're fine. Um, I'm General Stolen of the Berman Imperial Army. Due to the severity of the current situation, I have come to offer my assistance. General Bomb of the Berman Imperial Army here, echoing the sentiment. Seems the Gasco Army's still wet behind the ears when it comes to piloting airships. We figured we'd show you all how it's done. Time won't permit us to... Time won't permit us to question why you're both here, but you have our deepest thanks. Much appreciated, Sir Melo. Well then, boy, where are we headed? <coughs> to the Vandergan's head. It's time we put a stop to Cayenne's plan. <laughs> You've got it. My question is, can the soldiers of Gasco keep pace with us? <laughs> I'd advise against underestimating us. All troops, cover the children! <laughs> Onward, for Gasco! Oh, Gasco! Eliminate all enemies that obstruct their path. All right, crew, it's go time. Voilà l'ennemi. Avec l'aide des forces de Gasco, les enfants atteignirent la tête du Vanargande. Leurs cheveux se hissèrent face à la pression écrasante dégagée par le regard de la bête. I can't believe how big it is. I'm not backing down now. There's no turning back now. Where are you hiding, Cayenne? 
Alors qu'il se préparait pour l'affrontement final, Malte remarqua quelque chose d'étrange sur la tête du Van Argand. Hmm. What's that shape on the part where the Balenos is fused? Is that some kind of eye? Hmm. That's strange. Ugh. Les enfants lâchèrent un cri de stupeur à la vue des images. Ils pouvaient distinguer la silhouette de Cayenne, fusionnée avec le Van Argand. I have become one with the almighty Vanergand. I am immortal. Your brazen overconfidence in challenging me will only result in you throwing away your miserable little lives. Though I do acknowledge that some audacity is what led you to driving the Burmans back. Yeah, this is very Mega Man Zero Four right here. I must commend you all for that. Mêlé au rugissement du Vanergand, la voix hautaine de Cayenne résonnait. Cayenne. I understand your grief over losing your family, and the frustration at not having anyone to punish for taking their lives. But that doesn't excuse any of what you've done. Your delusional revenge plot ends here. We'll make sure of it. Delusional? How can what I'm doing be delusional? The world will never truly know peace unless my vengeance is sated. The true destroyer is the ambition of Berman. I will see to it that every one of them is erased from existence. Is, is AI hacks gonna get a soul now? You what? Who are you? <laughs> what a stroke of luck. I must thank you, children. I'm not sure how you managed it, but you delivered the one person I swore to strike down on a silver platter. This is surely a sign that my path to vengeance is being guided by a divine hand. <laughs> what a blessing to snuff out the life of my mortal enemy with reckless abandon! <laughs> Sound the trumpets, Vanergand! Signal the demise of my foes! Cayenne, the core where Cayenne, who has taken control of the Vanergand, is located. Its shield is always up and attacks do not work, so the key is finding a way to destroy the shield. Vanergand, I. I shoot lasers which inflict fear on one's children or all children. It's imperative to handle the crew to handle the crew have been inflicted. Wolfsvan, the interceptor of the Vandergan's head. It doesn't do anything special, but its attacks are very powerful, so pay attention to it. It's not that great, but you know. It gets the job done. I have to wonder, like, how often do these regenerate? Blue and red, okay. That's an interesting combination. Your plot for revenge ends here, Cayenne. You may have defeated the Vanergan once before, but don't presume you'll be able to accomplish the same feat twice. We'll bring you down and save Hana and Jill. <laughs> you still entertain such childish fancies. How laughable. Stand by. Nothing happens. Hmm. 
Crit City USA. <laughs> Wait, what? What? I attacked that. God damn it. Stubborn lot. <laughs> but can you withstand a blow fit to tear the very earth asunder? Now, Van Ergen, show them what you're capable of. Energy charge, four more turns. Fires an extremely strong and destructive laser with enough power to take out the Gasco army and hit or blow up the entirety of Gasco. Do not let this be fired. Oh, good. Extend the duration of the delay. There's an extra couple turns to hit. Attacks are futile. Hello? Hmm. Have you learned your lesson? You're free to give up. No. We'll never surrender to you. All ships and artillery units, focus your fire. Aim for the great maw of the Vanergan. <laughs> Damn you, Merlot! How are you still alive? Stop him from firing off that nonsense. We'll leave the rest to you, children. On the cube. Thanks for the cover. We'll take it from here. Como? How could the shield disappear? It must be due to that attack earlier. Mm. It's one and all. It'll take more than that to bring down the Vanergand. <laughs> the terrifying power I command will stain your souls with fear forevermore. Kneel before the almighty power of the god of chaos. We won't lose. We can't. Shut 
It's the only one who's afraid now. Yeah, he hyped himself. No, he, he, shame can't cheer himself. I think he can. I just don't think it activated here. Be totally egotistical, yeah. Well, he just hypes himself up. He gets over it. Takes a long time to, to move here. There we go. There's a more fair. Yeah, why you? <laughs> Attack. 
Okay, so that's gonna be about a third of my HP. Oh, no. It's not terrible, but... Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I was gonna say, you, you best be joking right now. Veal Blast, Van Veal. Shit. Oh, come on, man. Really getting punished for that shit? Fourteen hundred. It's crazy in here, I'm all gotta say. And 
coup de gras again. God, her hero mode ability is so good. Come on the kill. Five thousand. Oh, not enough. Skills borked, yeah. Yep, heroic strike finish. Not understand that all of your efforts are in vain. Damn, no matter how much we damage we dish out, it just keeps repairing itself. from the Vanner game. Huh? Do you mean using the Soul Cannon? No way. If we resort to that, we'd be killing Hana and Jill, plus whoever we shove in there. Discovered the source of the Vandergan's immortality, but have you the heart to fire on the Belenos? You want to save your friends inside, don't you? How could you shoot them? Sans même faire mine d'attaquer, Cayenne exposa le Belenos sans défense. Go on, think carefully. In the meantime, the Gasco army will continue to dwindle in number. Damn it! Really weigh the decision. After all, what else could a foolish child like you do but flail about an uncertainty? <laughs> I can't shoot. Trust in Hana and Jill. So I think you the only way to get this option is if you don't sacrifice anyone and, and at least six people have a level 2 support with Vanilla. This is what gets you the true ending. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're planning, but all who obstruct my path to vengeance will be eradicated. Anna! Jill, snap out of it! Shoot. I thought we had a score to settle, Jill. And Hana, you can't just give in like this. <sighs> that brat won't shoot because of me? <sighs> Just do it. Destroy me and everything else. No, Jill, don't give up. I'm not giving up either. Because they're not giving up on us. Soudainement, the Belenos commenced to debattre violemment. Comme pour se délivrer de l'emprise de Cayenne. Il arrachait l'un à l'autre les câbles qui le reliaient au Van Argand. What the? What are you doing, Belenos? Gio, Hana, you're doing it. We believe in you. Anna. Yeah, come back to us, Hana. <coughs> What's wrong, Cayenne? Can you not even keep a couple of kids in line? Anna. Gio, you could do it. Keep going, just a little more. Anna. As long as the Belenos is safe, we could figure something out. Give in, Hana. You too, Jill. Anna. Just leave the bad guy to us. Anna. We're sending you strength. Anna. 
Sorry. Jill, there's a whole lot I gotta say to you. We could save that for later. <laughs> That's the stuff. Keep fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You're almost free. What in blazes? Uh, the Vanarkand. I can't control it. Stop! Vanarkand! Sonic.exe moment <laughs> if the eyes. <laughs> we swear on our tails, we'll never give up. <laughs> Fire the soul cannon. He has give up on everything. <laughs> We're not using the soul cannon. No one's sacrificing their life for a power boost. <laughs> Jill didn't suffer through those awful experiments for us to turn around and resort to that now. Uh. Yeah, it ain't like this big brute's got us on the ropes or anything. We don't gotta sacrifice anyone. Uh. That's right, making someone suffer just for a leg up in a fight is no way to fight at all. All we have to do is beat Cayenne. There has to be a way to do that. Uh. But how? Uh. Let's put on our thinking caps. Uh. It's not like we have all the time in the world, you know. That's uh. right, we need to do something before the Vanergan starts attacking again. <laughs> Let's just unload every last bullet we've got onto it. <laughs> we can use the monogram to fire off a few shots. I'll go last. <laughs> In any case, there's no going back if we resort to the using the soul cannon. We? Oui? Yes, we're not giving anyone up. Oui. And we're not giving up either. I swear it on my tail. So why is it specifically... Okay, if you could do that, then why do we need children to fire the soul cannon? Like, why was it designed that way? Huh? Can you really do that? Yes, trust in AI Hitler. That'll work fine. Wait. I trust you, hacks. Les enfants ont cher vigoureusement la tête. I guess there's a soul to use his ammo in this case. Yeah. Oh, true. Hacks his own soul, I guess. Le char tout entier commençait à scintiller, tandis que des particules dorées volaient tout autour. So it's going to turn back into the regular Tyrannus. incredible amount of energy. Mm. Hax was right. All the components of the Tarascus are being converted into pure energy. <laughs> it's so bright. Way. Man, our power levels are through the roof. He's really gonna fire the soul cannon. Uh. Everyone grab hold of something. Yeah. Let's put an end to this fight. Oui. Yeah, to bring peace to Gasco. Yeah. And everyone else, too. <laughs> Anyone who wants to upset that peace is going to have to answer to us. <laughs> You ready to learn your lesson? <laughs> Father, mother, lend us your strength. Aw oh, man, it's just like the end of the first game. The Golden Soul Cannon. It's time. Oh, 
Uh, allow me to impart one final lesson. This light, this power, it'll swallow the world whole. There's no escape. <laughs> Salim Marjolaine, I love... Vanagans destroyed once again. The Vanagans that floated in the air in front of Pharaoh, cessed to move suddenly. He lost his altitude slowly and entered his fall, falling close to the capital. His capital. His members were weakened, began to break, falling into the sea of clouds in the contrabas. Yes, seriously, break it into pieces so we can't bring it back again. I want to see the shit back in Fuga Three. Yeah, now we're back to the dinky Tyrannus. Le Taranis perché sur le dos du dirigeable avait épuisé toute sa puissance et était intégralement revenu à sa forme d'origine. Is everyone all right? Ouais. Yeah, somehow or another. Ouais. We really beat it. We sure did. For a second time, no less. <sighs> Good thing too. I need to head back to the factory. No doubt a whole heap of work's piled up while I've been out. <laughs> Here's an idea. Ditch the work and let's go on a combat-free road trip. Love and peace! A road trip sounds pretty nice to me. Father, mother, peace has finally been restored to Gasco. Well done, whippersnappers. You really beat that thing. Thanks to you two. Couldn't have done it without you. Or you, Hax. How's the Tyrannus holding up? Using the soul cannon really seemed to take a lot out of you. Hax? Ax ne répondit pas. Les enfants échangèrent un regard curieux avant de remarquer un voyant clignotant sur la console de messages. Hold on, it looks like there's a message left here. Mm. A message from Hax? Why would he do that? Mm. Let's see what it says. Les enfants attendaient la lecture du message d'un air solennel. Exhibit such cheek even in your final moments. Mm. How ironic the two old windbacks survived this ordeal. Defies reason, really. <sighs> I suppose the Reaper was too busy for us yet again. I mean, don't feel bad for him. He, he did kill a lot of people. We thought we killed him at the end of the first game. He was the final boss of the first game. And we and it ended almost the exact same way. Like, yeah, he helped us, but let's be honest, he was Hitler. He was literally Hitler. Where does he get off the saying thank you, selfish jerk? I don't know. Maybe it's strange to say, but I'm almost sad to hear he's gone. Yeah, me too. He was nothing like the big scary guy we fought before. Yeah, he didn't scare me at all anymore. Mm. I know he was just a geezer from the Burman army, but maybe that didn't matter so much in the end. Lee. He was committed to finishing his mission, no matter the cost, for better or for worse. Mm. I'll never forgive Hax for waging war on Gasco and invading our home. Mm. But the Hax we knew here in our tank was one of us. He was part of the crew. I'll see. Thank you for everything, Hax. Les enfants acquiescèrent en cœur, avec un sourire qui dissimulait leur chagrin. That's right, we need to make sure Jill and Han are okay. Après avoir localisé l'épave du Belenos échoué aux abords de la ville, les enfants se précipitèrent vers le cockpit de la machine. No one has faces in the scene. They took their faces. They're just gone. Cependant, ils n'y trouvèrent personne, et le Belenos semblait définitivement hors service. Ah, 
No, I was sure the Belenos was moving just a moment ago. Where are you? <sighs> the Belenos isn't responding at all. Were we too late? <laughs> Don't give up yet. This thing's still got some life in it. Um, yeah, she's got to be around here somewhere. Come out, Hana. <sighs> yeah, they have to be here. It's faint, but I'm sensing something. <laughs> Stop kidding around and come out. Where are you? <laughs> Please, is it too much to ask for them to be all right? À cet instant, un amas de lumière commença à se former vers le cockpit du Belenos, prenant progressivement forme. Human. Quoi? It is that? It is. <laughs> Someone's teleporting. La lumière s'estompa, dévoilant une jeune fille endormie sur le siège. Oh non. <sighs> Mort. And everyone else, too. Wait, so who was that unconscious person in Jin's factory? Anna. Is that really you? <laughs> it's Hana. Hana. I can't believe it. Hana. Where? Where you? I had faith we'd meet again. <laughs> Thank heavens. I'm so happy for you all. Mm. But how? What just happened? <sighs> Maul, Jill used the last of his power to bring me back. Immediately after the Blanus broke free from the Gyrander Gand. <sighs> now they should all stand a chance. Deva. Yeah, we did the right thing. No. I haven't. Not yet. <sighs> I still need to return you to your friends. <sighs> That's how I'm choosing to settle the score. <gasps> Jill, what are you saying? Yeah. I'm saying Belenos and I are going to use the last of our power to do what I've been planning all along. <sighs> to bring you back to life. <sighs> Jill! You gave your life for Hannah's. Mm. I'm sure that was his way of atoning for everything he did. Mm. Jill was just taken advantage of by Cayenne. He was a vulgar bully, but deep down he was just a sad boy. Oui. I think so too. I never even got the chance to thank him. And now I never will. <laughs> sure knew how to yank our chain. Wish I could have given him a piece of my mind. Mm. I feel the same, but we also have to thank him for sending Hannah back to us. Affair, yes, this is miraculous. I wouldn't be able to thank him enough. Oui. Yeah, miraculous. Where? Super duper miraculous. <sighs> Excuse me, thank goodness. It really is a miracle. Uh? What's with the waterworks, Kyle? Got something in your eye? <laughs> Sh shut up, I, I ain't crying. <laughs> it's okay to cry when you're happy. I'm so happy I can't hold back the tears myself. <laughs> Welcome back, Hannah. <laughs> It's good to be back, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all again. I can hardly believe it. I'm really back. Thank you, everyone. Merci. And thank you, Jill. Réjoui de voir les enfants tous réunis, le lieutenant Musquet s'approcha d'eux avec un sourire. Things looked hopeless for a while, but it seems miracles really can happen on the battlefield. I'm relieved to see you all safe. Oui. Looks like she has six fingers on her left hand. It's just the, it's just kind of the bulge in her glove, but it looks like she's got another finger below her pinky. <laughs> Thank you, Lieutenant. Merci. That's my line, Malt. Finally, I can express my gratitude to you all for saving the world. Again. Thank you, children. <sighs> Thank you for saving us all, and for punishing the villain who killed my parents. <sighs> Canel. <clears throat> I owe you children my thanks, and an apology as well. Mm. President Muscat and Cayenne were my friends. Mm. I can't help but feel there's something I could have done to ease Muscat's anguish, or Cayenne's rancor. <laughs> my, failure as a, my failure as a friend meant the colossal burden was hoisted onto your small shoulders. I'm so terribly sorry. Mm. General Merlot, mm. no matter what anyone says, never forget that you are the brave heroes who saved Gasco and all the world not once. But twice. <gasps> we salute you on behalf of all the citizens of Gasco. Thank you, truly. No. We only did what we had to, sir. <sighs> Besides, we couldn't have done it without the Tyrannus. <laughs> I've never known children to be so modest. <clears throat> but I hear your point. Those who hold great power are also burdened with great responsibility. <clears throat> I wonder if the incredible power of the Tyrannus should truly be in our hands. Or anyone's hands, for that matter. Oui. Yeah. 
We should have a serious talk about the Tyrannus someday. Hmm. Sir, I understand there's much to discuss, but we need to get the children back home to their families as soon as possible. Mm. Indeed. Please allow us to escort you all back home. Merci. I'm sure your families are all worried about you. Thank you so much. Yep, at the event. Uh. I'll be more direct with you. The Gasco army awaits the day you join its ranks. <laughs> we need virtuous leaders like yourself who put their comrades and people above all else. Uh. I'm nothing special. Mm. I'll be waiting too, since it's likely that I'll stand in charge of the army at that point. Oh! <laughs> Old age won't take me away from my duty, I'm afraid. <laughs> I appreciate this and all, but I don't plan on enlisting. <laughs> That's unfortunate to hear, but not unexpected. You got a t t you got too big a heart, you know. <laughs> Seems like you're really back to normal now, eh? Way. Thanks to you, Jin. You made me realize what I was doing. <laughs> You've always been there for us when we really needed you, though. <laughs> you're a big brother to us all. Way. A real hero. You chose not to lose faith in us, no matter how dire the situation turned. You did pretty good out there, I have to admit. Maybe you're almost as good as me. <laughs> oh, Wappa. <laughs> you're the reason we're all still here in one piece, though. I can't even give you a hard time over this one. Thanks for sticking it to it and getting Hana back for us. Merci. You did good. You're the best brother ever. <laughs> all right, all right, enough already. I want to thank all of you, too. <sighs> I would never have held up out there without all of you behind me. Way. We made it through. We got Hana back. Because of you. Mert. Merci. I should be the one asking you for forgiveness. I owe you all a lot. Mert. You proved yourself a skilled leader, Malt. You proved me wrong, I'm afraid. Huh? Wrong about what? <sighs> I had always assumed a good leader must at times be cold and callous to accomplish their goals. Oui? But you did all this while never taking your companions or the people of Gasco for granted. No. Because they're the ones who made this possible, including you. Mm. We'd never have made it this far without everyone here. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and I'm certain one day you'll be the sort of leader the world turns to. <sighs> and when such a day comes, I hope I too will. No, bear me no mind. <laughs> Just know I look forward to such a day. Empathy Resolution Event Reward. N nothing. Piss. Piss. Piss change. Several days later, in Petit Mona, qui étaient tous rentrés à leur village respectif, se réunir un jour au village de Petit Mona. Salut. Welcome to Petit Mona, everyone. We finally get to see Petit Mona for ourselves. How's everyone doing? So this is your village. It's so beautiful. Sheesh! What's the big idea dragging us all the way out here? I always wanted to visit Petit Mona at least once. This was a great opportunity to do so. Mm. Enough of this Petit Mona jibber jabber. My tummy's doing enough Petit moaning of its own. I'm starved. When's lunch? Yo. Sorry, you all didn't make the long trip out here. If you want to complain? Take it up with Malt. Mm. I'm not complaining, but Malt's letter didn't exactly say why he wanted us all to come. <sighs> I assume you'll be telling us the point of this gathering soon, right? <laughs> yeah, he even Vanilla made the trip. Now everyone's here. <laughs> I know Malt's invitation was a bit sudden, but I'm glad you all can make it. Hey, Malt, what are we supposed to do? Mm. We're just as much in the dark as all of you. Why did you invite everyone here, Malt? Way. Well, I figured we still have some unfinished business. <laughs> unfinished what? What are you talking about? <laughs> we have a race to run. Les enfants se rappelèrent de l'échange entre Malt et Jill. I'm not rereading that. We literally had this conversation Way. today already. <sighs> Or was last night? Huh. Uh. Jill mentioned settling the score even in his final moments, but he never got the chance to do what you all talked about. Oui. That's why we're going to settle things our way here and now. <laughs> all right then, if it's a race you want, you're on. <laughs> I I don't think my legs are built for speed. Oh, well. Come on now, don't count yourself out based on that. It's not about how long your treads or legs are. All that matters is your RPM. <laughs> Not such a great runner. <laughs> Don't worry, Sheena. I'll keep pace with you. Ooh. Doesn't sound like much of a race. You'd just be jogging buddies. <laughs> I'll win, no problem. Mm. I want to run with May. Wee. Yeah, we can run alongside Boron. <laughs> I'm pretty slow on my feet, but if you two are with me, I'll do my best to get the lead out. The lead out. What, the lead? D. Bubble lead, bubble lead. Exercise isn't exactly my forte either. I'll stick with Boron and the rest of you if that's okay. Wee. Of course. Wee. All right then, let's do two laps around the village square. Or should we make it three? Oui. 
Sounds good to me. <laughs> Fine, but I'm not going easy on anyone, especially you, Malt. Une fois de plus, les enfants avaient sauvé Gasco de la catastrophe. Peu de temps après, l'armistice avec l'Empire Berman prit la forme d'un véritable traité de paix. Ah, that's nice. On dit que deux vieux généraux avaient joué un rôle déterminant dans la signature du traité et avaient fourni une aide généreuse à la reconstruction de Gasco. De nouvelles relations entre Gasco et l'Empire Berman s'établirent, ouvrant la voie à une nouvelle ère. Anadu. You still want to settle the score, don't you, Jill? Then come on, run with us. Oui. On your mark, mm. get set, <laughs> go. Yeah, redemption arc for the generals. I thought they were killed in the first in the previous game. Bénis soient les enfants qui guideront cet avenir. Quelques jours plus tard, les enfants et les hauts placés de l'armée de Gasco se réunirent sur une falaise, surplombant la mer de nuages. Au bord de cette falaise se dressait le char géant Taranis, transporté sur les lieux par l'armée. Hmm. The disturbing events of late stem solely from our military's desire to harness the uncontrollable, unknowable power of this weapon. And I am the one at fault for uprooting you children from your peaceful lives and involving you all in the calamitous world when that ensued. Allow me to once again offer my deepest apologies. I am truly sorry. Mm. This weapon is beyond our control and a danger to us all. Therefore, we've come to the conclusion that it should be destroyed. Oui. Malt, we hope you will all agree. Les enfants fixaient le Taranis avec des regards chargés d'émotion. Mm. Taranis, mm. you really are a force to be reckoned with, and you might not have any place in our world anymore. Mm. I think you've earned a chance to rest. Down into the cloud sea where it would get electrocuted. Merci. <coughs> Thank you for fighting with us, Tyrannus. Oui. Goodbye. So what are they gonna ride in the next game? <laughs> There's gonna be a third game. So there is a video of all five endings, it just flies back. Is there supposed to be credits over this? <laughs> this it seems like it's supposed to be. Who is this? Who, who, who is that? I thought, my theory was that that was Hana's body and that her soul had been separated from it. If I say it, I don't know. Is there a circumstance in which I'd find out, or is there is there none? Like, or am I supposed to just know? If I 
was excellent. So did this Japanese voice actors also do the French dub? Or do they have separate French voice actors? I guess we'll find out as we watch the, uh, the credits. The Japanese cast of the French voices too. Oh, that's interesting. I thought they actually like hired a separate cast for that. In which case I would say, why didn't you do an English dub too? <laughs> I, this game is made... Yeah, I wouldn't mind surpri yeah, being surprised. Yeah, the Japanese cast... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yoan. Uh, Yoan. Uh, earlier... They don't, he doesn't work for uh, CC2 anymore, but he was like the big hype guy on Twitter for the series. He works at Platinum now. Look, I'm not gonna lie, if, if the third game had an English dub, and I was somehow... That's a step down? Uh, no, come on, don't say that. Platinum makes some good shit. I mean, it's all up to personal opinion. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If if the third, if the third game in the series had an English dub, and I was like established enough to get a role in that, that would be a dream come true. Do having any kind of like connection to the series as a whole would be amazing. Because I love I love this series so much, just the all entire Little Tale Bronx series. Which character would you do? Uh, whoever I would fit, whoever would be, whoever I could audition for. A letter from me? Oh, it's from Count Novaloon. <laughs> and there's a comic issue inside. Sorry. Dear little heroes, Please. I've had the pleasure of watching your journey all the way through to its conclusion. I'm certain that none of you, save for, none save for you, could have accomplished such heroic feats. Huh. I also must commend you for giving up a source of power that many others would vie for. Your choice was courageous and wise beyond your years. Hmm. You have all proven that you are worthy of successors to lead our world into the future. <laughs> I hope you all continue to nourish the bravery and resolve in your hearts. <laughs> a meddlesome old man. Merci. Thank you, Count Novaloon. I'll make sure to read this final issue with everyone else. Several days later, at Malt's house in Petite Mona. What's this strange feeling? Oh, is it just gonna be back in the cave? Before the Forbidden Cave. Mm. How did I end up here? Shouldn't be anything in this place. Mm. Feels like something's calling out to me. <gasps> no, it can't be! Yep, I knew it. It's just back. It's just back. Holy shit. <laughs> you fucking told me. Yeah, you did. Huh? What's the Tyrannus doing here? <gasps> Is someone there? C cool. No. Could it be? Is that really you? Heh. <laughs> You've really grown, Mott. Who is- who the fuck? Whom's of the fuck? Zua? Brother? What? Did- was there mention of his brother? Liquid Malt, yeah. Congratulations for killing the game. You've shown that we've saved the world with courage and resolve. You've reached a better and more wonderful true ending in which all the children survive. I must have taken extraordinary effort and perseverance to have achieved this. Thank you, and congratulations once again for playing with love and courage. If you would like to play further and discover more of the world within the game, it would be best to do so with the clear data of the game. Enjoy new events or complete link events. Change your judgment choices and more. You've achieved your true purpose. You can play again from the beginning, keeping all your experience and aim to unlock the whole library. Keep all your stats from the first play. You'll get the upper hand on challenging enemies and attempt more difficult battles in New Game Plus. 
Strengthen the bonds of friendship you began forging in your first playthrough. Reveal each can. Digging plus allows you to earn extra experience materials so you could further upgrade the tank, unlocking its maximum potential. Gear icons in the menu are unlocked by meeting certain conditions. Perhaps something will happen once they're all collected. And that's I'm pressing the pepper button <laughs> to give me a break, pepper. Oh, look at the oh, whoa! This title screen is so good. Oh, that's gonna have to be uh, gonna have to be a thing. That's gonna have to be the screenshot. Actually, no, it's because the first part was the dead other screenshot. Whatever, I'll figure it out. Alright, we're kinda- this took a little bit longer than I was hoping, unfortunately. I really want to do Deer to Rhythm, but I only have like 15 minutes left. Plus, well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to show off the other endings because, um, because the, the video for it's an hour long. So, I will post it in, in the chat if you want to see the, the worst ending- I just want to see uh, what I've unlocked in the library in New Game Plus, because you unlock stuff when you beat it. Oh yeah, you just have all your stats. So you just start with everything. Hmm. There's just no way of looking to the library, though. That's the annoying thing. So you get to, a, like, a... a rest point. Oh, wait. I could just check it here. Yeah, this is how you do the rest of the stuff in the game. Skipping needs to be a little quicker. At least they were considerate, yeah. No! Locations, outskirts of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was reestablished as the de facto capital of Gasco. Those who lost their homes following the Great Fragmentation were permitted to build new homes in the outskirts of the city proper. Zack shut down in the end. I dozed off at that point. No, he didn't shut down. He sacrificed himself. He's gone. When the Vandergan was awakened, the former capital of Parisia was torn from the earth and lifted up on its massive back. The once beautiful metropolis shared the same fate as this destructor. The force of destruction was awakened by Hax, the general of the Burman Imperial Army, one year ago. The resulting cataclysmic battle between the Vandergan and the children of the Tyrannus returned the great beast to its slumber. For now. Hands Journal 3. Just as I was about to call for examinations to how I might use the Tyrannus as a key point in our attack on the Burman Empire, I was contacted by a mysterious man via transmission meant only to be used by me, the president. He told me of a boy named Jill, who slumbered around the Tyrannus, and of a weapon called the Belenos, which was meant for him. He said that if we restored the Belenos, we could both recover and gain control of the Vandergand. Quickly scrapped all my former plans and turned my attention to the restoration of the Belenos. Now our invasion of the Burman Empire would be at the hands of the Vandergand. So wait, he was contacted by someone else. That's interesting. The heroes of the war, the children of Tyrannus, now stand in the way of my revenge. I expected some obstacles, but never such fierce resistance as this. I could never have foreseen Vanilla joining their ranks and fighting alongside them aboard the Tarascus. But perhaps I should have. Maybe I taught her to be this way. She was an emotional, difficult-to-handle student, but was never one to lack motivation when she was set on doing something. It seems ages ago now that I used to encourage her to use that strength of hers. It pains me not to have to end her young life now, but she surely will be reunited with her father and mother in heaven. Forgive me, Vanilla. You were a great student to me. We got the end stuff. Price of success. Yeah. The Adventures of Zucre, episode 10. 
at Research Institute the Fountain of Innovation one month after exploring the ruins. Mm, perhaps we wasted that ancient weapon. By burying it in the cave, you mean? Yes. I think we did the right thing. There will always be people like Professor Burry out looking for it, after all. We're not in any place to use it yet, anyway. Actually, I don't think we ever ought to put that thing to use. Perhaps you're right. I agree. We have the Juno now, after all. With a bit more research, we'll make it to the moon. I know we will. Make sure to take me with you. You bet we will. <laughs> Zookre? Count Novaloon's estate. The Juno has been uncovered at last. The day of return is at hand. Ah, wait, no, why'd I do that? Space, yeah. Oh my god, are we going to space in Fuga 3? Well, actually, I'm gonna find out in a second. Hold on. The Adventures of Zucre. Fly, fly to the moon arc, Finn. Endings. True ending. Mustering up all of his strength, Jill regains self-control, aiding the ever-determined Malt and his comrades in defeating Cayenne, thanks to Hax's quick thinking. And all once was said and done, a long wish for a miracle made its reality at last. All children survive upon clearing the game. Empathy. Upon clearing the game, the judgment gauges empathy is 90 points more than resolution. Malt and his companions worked hand in hand, supporting one another in their fight to restore peace to Gasco. Their names will surely go down in Gasco history. So yeah, there's there's a normal ending, a bad ending, and then also the resolution ending, where if, where if you have more resolution points. Oh look, look at look at my resol look at look at them. It's, they're at zero now. All right, well I'll save and go back to the menu. Gotta play that Tim Curry bit now. Oh right, wait, wait, hold on. I know exactly which which video you're talking about. Where is it? If you watch all of his scenes from the, yeah, all, <laughs> from the, from that game, they are very, very, very ridiculous. He he's he's like breaking character, like he's he's like laughing the entire time. Okay, uh, hold on. What was I looking for now? Okay, wait. What game? I think it's Red Alert Three, Command and Conquer Red Alert Three. That was his first take. Yeah. Yeah, Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 has a it has like the like the the FMV scenes. Okay. So, we're not supposed to see this cuz I didn't earn it, but Fuga 2 secret movie. Apparently there's two secret movies, but I haven't I, only one's been uploaded. So this is what happens if you like get all of the uh, all of the gears on the main menu. You get this movie. Oops. This is all concept art, like the first game. Malt opened his eyes to a scene of pure despair. War had broken out, claiming the lives of his friends. Ninety-eight left. What? This was once a great kingdom. Why is Wappa saying that? What? Was that Earth? Was that like the real world? What the hell? Novaloon. Secret orders. Oh my god. This is escalate this is escalating hard. Mm. 
What option was left to Malt, the boy who lost everything? Story of how I betrayed the world. What? Alright, well that's interesting. I guess we'll find out what that is in two years when Fuga 3 comes out. Secret movie. Yeah, you have to get all the gold gears there on the left. Uh, true ending. All soul cannon scenes. All sacrifice ending. Oh wait, this is the first game. No, 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 no. We've, we've seen enough of the first game. Multiverse? I don't know. I hope not. I don't want them to do a multiverse plot in Fuga. They're gonna go after the kids. Ghost Trick. Oh yeah, Ghost Trick. Forgot I have that right here. I have the demo, which I'm gonna play to get unlockables, and I've already preloaded the game. This I'm gonna stream. This is gonna be the next stream when I get home uh, from Anthrocon next week. I will be streaming Ghost Trick Phantom Detective on July 4th. Will be a very long stream of it. And uh, it's not a long game, so I might finish it in like two streams. Hey, when endings do that. Hope you picked empathy that much more. Well, um, yeah, no, but there's there's a resolution ending as well. Again, oh, let me um, let me get that link actually. So I was gonna watch some of this on stream, but since it's three fifty five in the morning, unfortunately, that's not happening now because I have to stop. In fact, I'm not gonna be able. I can't do theater rhythm tonight. There's not time. There's no time. Anyway, here if you want. There's all the endings, including the uh, the end, the two we got, the resolu the uh, empathy and true ending, as well as the resolution ending, the bad ending, and the normal ending. They're all in there. So if you want to watch them, there you go. Uh, I will include it in the description of the uh, of the video as well. Uh, I really wish I had more time to, to look into it. But uh, we did get the true ending, and that's all that matters. We get to see what's coming next, and uh, yeah, another another great entry in the Little Tail Bronx series by, by CC2. Uh, amazing. Can't wait to see when, what and when the third game is going to happen. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all there really is to say about it. Tell me after. Okay, yeah, I'll be around for a little bit longer, uh, off stream. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to do, I can't do theater rhythm. I, I literally have to stop in, like, f four minutes maximum here. But this was a great stream. I'm glad we got Fuga 2 done. I will do theater rhythm at the end of Ghost Trick when I come back from vacation. Which, um, again, I'm going to say, I am going to be on vacation starting tomorrow. Uh, I will be at Anthrocon. There is going to be a Fuga panel run by the vice president of CyberConnect2 there. And uh, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to finish this by today. Uh, in fact, I think this video specifically is going to go up on YouTube on Friday, which is when the panel is. So by the time you're watching this on YouTube, you might, uh, you, I might already be there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. Just checking some stuff. So yeah, I just want to say, as always, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Um, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. I don't know why I, like, hesitated there. Plenty of people streaming there at all times of day. Uh, I might see if I could raid someone just to give this a proper send-off. But yeah, this was a great game. Thank you so much, CyberConnect2. If you if you want to ever dub these games into English, you know my you know my Twitch channel and my and my Twitter. You like all my tweets mentioning this game. I can I can prove I can show credentials. Sort of I don't know. Whatever whatever someday someday. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else there is to say here. So I'm just gonna say thank you for coming. Have a great evening. And. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if there's someone to raid. I, I feel bad leaving without someone to raid, because there's six people here, and that's a nice amount to throw to someone else. Papa Bray. I raided them just recently. Forest. Helix Liger is playing uh, Link's Awakening Remake. That's a fun game. That was the first Zelda game I streamed. Which, by the way... Expect plenty more Zelda uh, when I get back from vacation. Zelda, Mega Man, uh, Advance Wars will come back. Ghost Trick. I may be bringing back Final Fantasy XIV. We'll have to see. But anyway, stick around for a few minutes. Say hello to Keelix Liger. Uh, just to be, you know, be nice. And uh, yeah, 
Thank you so much for coming. Y'all have a great night. I will see you next week, and keep in touch with me if you, if you need to. I'll be online. Thank you.